Hey guys, what's going on? I, uh, well you can see, I've got a bunch of lipos here. Obviously if you let your lipo drain too much, it's, it's done for, it puffs, or it's low voltage, it won't take any more. These are, uh, a few cells right here that are done for, they won't, uh, take any more voltage, they're at like .32, I don't know, whatever, nothing. So instead of throwing all the batteries out, I uh, dismantle them, take them apart, and rebuild it. Take what good cells you have from one battery and another good cell from the other battery and uh, put them together into one. This one's uh, in the process of soldering all the leads together. This, this is a two cell. This one used to be a three cell. You can see the third cell wire there hanging off. It, uh, it puffed up. It's, it's one of those sitting there. I don't know what one, but... <clears throat> so yeah, I just uh, basically unsoldered the leads and removed that dead cell. This one was pretty easy because it was number three. It was right on the end, so I just took it out and then I had to re-solder my positive lead back on. But uh, yeah, I left the balance port on there because the, the balance charger doesn't, uh, it don't matter. It'll pick up the two cells still when this is plugged into the three cell port so you can uh, leave those on there Don't yeah matter. why throw your battery out when you can save it so this one though it's, it's actually being a little bit of a bastard because I can't uh, big gub freaking solder on there it won't take it won't stick for some reason so yeah there's three cells there Obviously, if you're doing this, you're going to have to figure out how they work a little bit. The batteries are run in series, so be careful, careful, careful that you don't touch tabs together. Or it will puff up and poof. Let the smoke out of the box. So, uh, that's it. Save your lipos. Taking batteries from different battery packs is fine. As long as you run... Uh, <clears throat> The milliamp which needs to be about the same. Like you can run uh, a 4,000 and a 5,000 together. I wouldn't go anything different than a thousand because uh, it'll just the other battery cell won't even really get used, and you won't get the full potential out of the battery. But running uh, obviously the same size, but your your milliamp which is going to determine the size of the battery. So you could always run like right here is. Uh, that's a 3.7 volt lipo, but it's only oh, 2,500 milliamps, and this is 2,500 milliamps. So you run these two together in parallel, and then, and then together in series with another pack. So you can boost your milliampage up to create the watt hours you need to gain the same. Uh, same watt hours out of each battery to run them all together in series and then you can hook them up together so things just have to be remotely the same well I uh, hopefully you guys can save your lipos I've saved quite a few already so because I've got quite a pile of dead lipos anyways that's it hope you enjoyed this little video and uh Solder up some lipos. Don't blow your house up, though.